Tennessee State Olympic champion in the challenge tournament. But we got one here because we have such a good young crop of talent with national runner-up Kyle Snyder, junior world gold medalist. He's the real deal, and he proved it out at the U.S. Open that he can not only just compete with these guys, but beat these guys. And, and the crazy thing is he has that gold medal at the junior worlds in 2013. He was a bronze medalist last year at the championships. He is still junior eligible. Yeah. So if he were not to get the job done here in the best of three series, he could peti petition for a wrestle off at 96 kilograms on the junior team. Yeah. And that's the junior team wrestles the old men's freestyle weight. So it, it would be they're 97 here, 96 in juniors. On the other side of the bracket, your number two seed, J.D. Bergman, beat an old nemesis, Wim Mahalik, in the first round, 5-2. He's taking on Enoch Francois in that other semifinal. Kilgore victorious 2-0 over Micah Burak. And on that one, we saw Jake Varner take out his former teammate, Dave Zabriski, 11-0. Good snatch, single, snatch single attempt there by Dustin Kilgore. Right back with an attempt of his own is Jake Varner. And then again, a shot in by Kilgore, and he gets tilted up by Varner. So Kilgore looked to score there on that great high crotch attempt. But Varner tilts him up, and he's going to get the score here. And now Varner looking for a lace, moves to the gut transition, and he's going to get a turn on top there. And he takes the 4 nothing lead. Great job by Jake Varner with some unbelievable defense there. And what I like to see out of Varner, he takes that single leg, he brings the peak out. That's how he scored in the World Cup uh, to win that match late against the Iranian. Single leg uh, on the guy's left side, peaks back out to the yeah. other side, and he missed it here. But I like when Varner's attacking and aggressive on those legs because it creates action, and he's pretty good there. Yeah, we almost like to see it more when he does it early in the match like this instead of making us wait so long when he hit that duck under in the World Cup. Nonetheless, we'd rather see him hit it during the match than after the match when he can't even hit it anymore when the match is over and take the loss. But that World Cup match was absolutely crazy. Jake Varner, duck under, peak out position right at the end of the match into that gut to get the W. And any guy that we have at this weight class, again, like 65 kilos, are unbelievable participants for our world team. I mean, you're not sitting here being like, ah, I'm not really sure about that weight. I mean, you get Varner, a guy like Kilgore here on a snatch single right now. Again, great defense hips by Varner, and he's going to get the takedown. But even a guy like J.D. Bergman, who's been a past world team member, and another two on the board for Varner makes it 8 nothing. But like I was saying, J.D. Bergman, I mean, past world team member, uh, he's a guy that you throw into the world championships. And as an American root for your team, you're not disappointed at all. Good fakes there from Varner. Tried that ankle pick earlier. Wasn't able to get it. Now he's in on a single leg, pretty extended. Kilgore looking to run the corner. Comes back up to his underhook. And we were talking about that semifinal between Bergman and Francois. It's underway on that too. Varner looking to close Kilgore out in the first period here. 8-0, we're under 10 seconds. And we're to our 30 second break here on mat one. Little flurry of action over there on mat two. Francois looked like he was gonna take Bergman out with a double leg. Bergman Bergman turns the tables on him. He gets a step out point. He leads 1-0. Bergman and Varner, they are not unfamiliar with each other. Yeah. You see over here, good shot. Coach Brandon Slay, Olympic Training Center, here with his athlete, Dustin Kilgore. Kilgore training out there. He's a member at the Olympic Training Center. You got Jake Varner. He's got Kale Sanderson. 
everyone knows who Kiel Sanderson is. He's in his corner, and they got great things brewing at both those places up at Nittany Lion Wrestling Club as well as the old Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs. Yeah, and, and we talked about that, uh, the WCAP program, yeah. uh, freestyle. We saw Moza Fay yesterday, and, and we had that conversation. Those guys are now training alongside the Nittany Lion Wrestling Club. Uh, and, and one guy, I mean, he gets a lot of credit, but I don't think he gets quite enough. I, Casey Cunningham does a fantastic yeah. job. Uh, freestyle side, folk style side, uh, you know, the Sandersons and Coach Cunningham, perfect combination there. And I'm not sure if, if Franklin Gomez is still out there as well. I know he was out there for a time period. Hi, my Espinal. And, and yeah, so they have some guys from uh, different world teams and Olympic teams from other countries that are still training out there, which gives you a completely different feel. Franklin Gomez, the national champ for Michigan State, uh, I'm pretty sure he's still out there. And it, you know, Gomez was your 2011 world silver medalist. Yeah. Uh, had some epic matches with Bezik Kudakov, uh, especially first round at the Olympics in 2012. He's now up at 65 kilograms, you know, looking to uh, compete at the Olympics again. So he's made that transition. No more 61 for Franklin. He's up at 65 competing. Varner pulls down in that front head, and he goes inside, ankle pick to his back. Wow, great leg oh. attack and some punches thrown, a little after the whistle stuff, and that'll be it though, as Kilgore not too happy, but nonetheless, Varner gets a 12 nothing win over Dustin Kilgore with a nice slick ankle pick to his back inside, and a couple words exchanged. I don't know if these guys are gonna be going out for uh, ice cream after, after uh, the tournament's over, but Varner, he moves on. Hopefully we don't have any lip readers in the audience. Uh, that, that wasn't a very pleasant exchange. I'm, he was just telling really, him how, how great of a match it was <laughs> and how hard they wrestled, obviously. I, I'm really confused at, at what Kilgore's upset about. You know, you had the inside pick. Maybe Kilgore figured the, the takedown.